you guys welcome back to the spirit tribe serenity soul invictus thanks for joining today today you guys yes I am feeling a little bit morbid <laughs> it is Valentine's Day right you get the message as you can see I have my little red candle going in the background that is just for props right but today we're discussing something completely different it's similar but different um, got my handy dandy wand guess what I just did I just waved this thing and it hit the wall and my crystal my quartz crystal came off like what is what what why so anyways I'm gonna fix it back but like this definitely has been with me for quite some time I love it I use it in a lot of rituals um, so anyways today's topic we're talking about the black candle okay hence me wearing all this black <laughs> I love the color black many of you do as well it definitely has a slimming effect it makes you look very much more sophisticated put together you know like men in black <laughs> however it has many other purposes and today we're gonna get into that so at any point in this video hit the like button definitely subscribe to the channel because you know we're growing this spirit family one subscription at a time notify yourself share comment download whatever like do whatever you wish after this definitely keep it within the means the lines of love within the lines of okay sharing caring is sharing right sharing is caring so the black candle you guys today we're gonna get into this its meaning its uses now for a long time people have thought the black candle to be evil like if they would see someone burning a black candle they're doing naturally doing black magic like automatically without question right this cannot be further from the truth the black candle has been utilized burned for centuries all right think about this now the color black the shade of black because black is not necessarily a color black actually encompasses many colors that turn it into that shade black candles have been burned for a very long time um, because of its ability to absorb negative energy think about it when you go to a funeral what do people wear black right why is this because black it is thought that from ancient times it is thought that by wearing the black it's going to serve as a form of protection against the spirit of that deceased loved one traveling and entering your body okay it's a, it's a form of protection so naturally speaking the black candle is as such the black candle you is used as a form of protection it is burned as a form of protection it is burned to not only absorb but to transmute negative energy and so it is very wise and very important I think those of us who are into the esoteric influence to actually look into this because I've read so many stories where people swear by it now they were in doubt at first but they realized the benefits of doing this think about this as well we are all love and light right I mean at least for the most part many of us are because I kind of subscribe to a lot of other people who practice shadow work and all of these dark arts and stuff like that not necessarily meaning that I do the same thing but I like to have a broad outlook on things and so I look at it all however love and light right here we are always shining keep shining keep smiling right guess what that's all fine and well but in life there are two sides to everything there is duality there would be no light without the dark without darkness right yes I'm saying right a lot but this is the truth you need to tap into that other side you need to delve into the other realm occasionally in order to see the, the, the actual beauty and goodness of the other side, of the opposite side, the law of polarity, you know? So the black candle is for this exact purpose. 
the white candle we know that the white candle is universal it can be used whenever with whatever correspondence or whatever spell or ritual you can substitute any color for a white candle right however the black candle has is, is, is in a league of its own so today I actually started to burn a piece I started to burn a black candle and now it's down to half because I just remembered I wanted to record this part of the video so we are this is the rest this is the remainder of it right here and so seeing that it's the waning moon which now is the kind of the way the moon going in its darker face we are sending things away we are sending negative energy away yes I know it sounds like I live on a metro railroad or something like that. we are sending negative energy away to the dark side of the moon and so now this is the time to do these types of practices during the waning phase of the moon so we just had our last full moon I think the ninth or so so that was about four or five days ago and now the moon is now definitely in its full waning phase so we're going to do this practice now some people actually call for you to put water there are so many ways you can do this this is what I love about magic you can personalize it and make it your own whatever is most comfortable for you so today we are just going to do this and we're going to do a slight little ritual a little release and banishing ritual um, yesterday we had some crazy stuff going on there was a problem with our like tank outside and stuff and so water was coming up everywhere I spent literally 12 hours okay scooping up water crazy right so today we're going to cleanse all of this negativity away from us what we want to do here it has been said also by a lot of people like spiritual people know about the use of candle burning magic they know about the the significance of candles okay we know fire fire gives energy and life to things whatever it is you desire you light a candle people use this to do to pray the psalms they use this um, just sometimes just in quiet meditation they light a candle and sit beside it watch the flame sit with it and focus your intention right so likewise with the black candle however some people feel like just burning a black candle on its own can be more representative of dark magic and so however if this makes you feel uncomfortable the option is to actually have another color candle lit um, beside it because you're not only just banishing remember just like with clearing energy if you're saging and smudging out your house getting rid of the negative energy you want to sweeten the place afterward as well and bring in some positive energy right so same thing with the candle with the black candle you want to actually light another kind of color candle that corresponds with something that you are trying to manifest something that you want to see grow and become better or improve on right so what better color today is Valentine so we're gonna light the red candle right that is perfect Google candle colors and their correspondence you will find what each candle color represents if I have not done a video on this already so there was something else I wanted to pinpoint here um, so yeah whatever it is that you're going through um, that may be of some kind of unpleasant unwanted experience whether it's illness whether it's you know just feeling stagnant and stuck whether it's heartache heartbreak whether it's just unemployment whatever it is that you don't like happening that's happening you want to do this practice and focus your intention on clearing away any negative energy even if it's evil eye from anybody else you think somebody's put a hex on you you know what to do so these videos as I learn I come to you and bring you the knowledge so that we can put together the knowledge with the wisdom that we already have gained for our best interest so we're gonna just light this candle just trying to get it lit here I usually like to use matchsticks but I don't have any more right now <laughs> so we're just gonna use the lighter oh this fan is going to pose a big problem <laughs> right here let me just turn that off just a second I'm gonna zoom up okay so as you can see we have this lit this is the remainder of my candle if I haven't said that already that I was burning before I started the video and so we're just gonna place this right here 
Now, something, a method that I was reading up on when you do light the black candle um, is to just add some water. Oh, I should have had a deeper dish. I should have, but I don't. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is try and do some magic here and pour. Just pour a little around your black candle. Just like that. As we know, water is definitely like a conductor in magic. Water kind of brings things, not only ties things together, but it actually has a way of magnetizing whatever it is that you're trying to see come to life or happen. So, we are just going to focus on this flame now. And whatever it is that you would like to see removed from your life, whatever it issues, problems, setbacks, heartaches, um, you know, stagnancies, whatever it is, you just want to actually call in your divine help. It's just my incense going here. And ask your angels, your guides, of course, your most high creator to guide over this actual ritual that you're doing. Um, to see to it that this is for your best interest with harm to none and state your intention so today we are going to call in the angels our archangels spirit guides ancestors and the hand of our source and divine creator to watch over this particular ritual that we are doing um, to help cleanse and clear any and all negative and lower vibrational energy anything not meant for our highest good in our environment in our minds in our consciousness in our spirit in our heart we want to see it release i now release it during this waning moon phase any and all blockages obstacles are now cleansed and cleared away from myself, my loved ones, and my space. Anyone who tries to interfere and tries to be a source of negative energy, may they be removed from my immediate surroundings. With harm to none, of course. And this red candle that is lit beside here is lit for the purpose of love of connecting me with myself love of myself first and foremost love of my creator love of love for all of the creation around me because I understand that without the love of myself at first it's impossible to properly love anyone else thank you for your guidance and protection always and basically that is it now you focus your intention on seeing all of the good things in life seeing the things turn around that you may have seen not working in your favor and that you guys is the end basically of the ritual you just want to sit and let your candle burn if you would so choose you can sit down and meditate with it or you can just let it burn away by itself in a safe place of course now this I would not recommend doing um, having a dish something like this leaving it unattended because this is a very small small sided dish it is metal and it does have water on the side of it but it is kinda small to be on a wooden surface so you guys that is it I hope you have hit like or subscribe to the channel um, I will be back very shortly with another great topic but if you have any questions feel free to pop them below in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can I try to answer all of my my beautiful subscribers questions and comments um, but yeah until I come back with another great video I'm gonna say peace and love blessed be and namaste bye